up, baby babies? What's up, baby babies? We made it back for another week. Yes. Uh, NFL greatness. Okay. And it's going down this week. Well, it went down this week. This is past tense now. So we're going to speak on week nine. It's in the books. About to move into week 10 tomorrow. No, the next day. Wait but a minute. We just Today is Tuesday. Oh, yeah, week nine. You're right. Yeah. Man, we skipped week, week eight. Nine. I know. It's going to be over before we know it. Wow. But, yeah, so week nine ended with the Chargers whooping the Jets last night. Lord Jesus, have mercy. <laughs> poor, poor Jets. <laughs> they just can't get it together. They can't get it. Girl, just can't get right. Every time you think <laughs> they're going to kind of get over the hump, or they're, you know, they're going to hang on until Aaron Rodgers gets back. <sighs> that was a horrible performance. I can't even say it was their worst performance. It was bad. Mm-hmm. They're, they just, they can't stop shooting their self in the foot. Yeah. They can't get out of their own way. Every penalty, every mistake. It was just like it's one of the big I had to stop watching it. Cause it was just that bad. Wow. It was that bad. Wow. Cause you don't want to see you don't want to see him just fail. Not just fail, but fail miserably. Right. <laughs> right? Yeah. They made the charges look good. They really did. I mean, and the yeah. Chargers have some, you know, they have some, um, they have a great defense and, you know, um, great quarterback. Um, but it's like sometimes their coaching, their coach is not the brightest or the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> but they have hope, kind of. I just don't think they're one of the better teams in the AFC, but they have some things to build on. So hopefully they can get it together. And I don't know. Either way, I don't hope they get it together. These are AFC teams. They could all lose. Anyway, <laughs> I forget. Look, I lost my brain for a second. I forgot where. That's my division. They could all lose. They all deserve to lose a game or two. I'm just saying. And there are no more undefeated teams. Yeah, that just made me think about that. No, but Philly still fought six, six and one. They're seven and seven and one. Yeah, they just seven. won. Yeah, seven and one, eight and one, something like that. Look, we don't skip the week and I lost track. Hold on. I know that's why I was on last week. I was like, oh wait a minute, this is week nine. Why do I not see? I watched the Bengals and the Bills last night. Yeah, the Bills. I, you know what? I'm going to say this about the Bills. They have been hyping up, oh boy, for the past couple of years, being the next great white hope. The next, you know, the big, you know, the greatest quarterback outside of Mahomes. He's the only one who can challenge Mahomes. Well, clearly, we see that the Bengals are more of a threat than the Bills. Yeah. They just, that's another team just can't get right. So when you expect them to step up and do good, they just kind of fall apart. Mm-hmm. Um, it looked like at the beginning of the game, like they were going to, you know, they are going to give it, you know, it's going to be a good game. And then they, then I don't know what happened. They just kind of looked anemic. Yeah. And I know, uh, we get the uh their uh receiver's name. He's ready to get out, get up out of there. If he, uh oh, it don't look good. It does not look good. If uh they continue this type of play, I don't think he's gonna be up in there much longer. Which receiver you talk about, Diggs? Yes, Stephon Diggs. Oh, they, oh man, they can't lose him. Well, he he barely came back this year. He barely made it back this year. Um, he ha- there was a lot of rumblings going on in the offseason and in preseason, but 
I don't know. Well, nope. he ain't gonna make it. Um, so who else played Pittsburgh that was, and that Tennessee? Was night, by the way, that yeah, I watched the Bengals and the Bills. Yeah, that was one of the big games for Sunday. Um, Eagles Cowboys was a good game. That was a good game. That was and a big I was game. so proud of Dak Prescott. He did everything he could to try to to, to win that game. So you can't even put that win that loss on him because he was out there hustling. When that boy got the running and didn't slide and then got flipped over, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> We don't. I'm not used to seeing Dak like that. Yeah, he haven't taken. He haven't made runs like that since what? Well, shoot, since he um got injured the last time. Mm-hmm. He don't. He don't make them runs like that. But yeah, he showed out a little bit. He he actually tried to put the team on his back and win it. Yeah. Um, they just came up short on a couple plays where <laughs> it was a. It was um. I don't know. It was close. It was close. And they had a chance to win it, but they just. Yeah, definitely. They couldn't. Couldn't catch that so ticket. People still on top. I didn't really watch the Minnesota ATL game. I went back and watched the highlights um, because, you know, Kirk Cousins is out for the rest of the year. When I think it's ACL injury. What game was this? Minnesota? Uh, Minnesota and Atlanta. Oh. So the Minnesota Vikings lost their quarterback last week, Kirk Cousins. Mm-hmm. Right. And they brought in a guy like, I think his name is Dobbs. He's only, he had only been with the team for like two or three days. And literally in a, in a press conference or, you know, somebody asked him a question. He said, don't ask me about anybody's names. I haven't learned any, learned them yet. <laughs> like literally he's that new. He only had a couple right. days, but he went out there, showed out and they ended up winning again. Yeah, sure did. So it shows that's just talent. There's somebody just coming in. I mean, and they play street ball, not knowing all the plays, not knowing any of the schemes, just going out there and just being talented winging. He yeah. Was winging. yeah so that was a little interesting i watched those highlights and it was pretty good um the cardinals and the browns the browns ended up winning poor cardinals so apparently uh kyla Why murray cardinals? they had one job <laughs> one job Anybody in the NFC, you have one job to beat some a, a team if you play them in AFC. That's it, except for the Ravens. One job. And Deshaun Watson did that was his get, first game back, I want to say too. We play them next week. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Kyler Murray's also rumored to be coming back next week for the Cardinals. So hopefully, even though they're one and eight, good gravy. Um there's no hope for this season, but we'll see. They may get some draft picks and do something good next year. So, yeah, we'll see. okay. Did you watch the Houston game with uh, Tampa Bay? That was a good game. I actually watched parts of, parts of that game. It was. Uh, yes, I went in and out of that one. Um, with so uh, how did my boy do? Who? How did my boy do? Which one? Mayfield. Maker. Maker Bayfield. <laughs> he that one, tried that to... one's hard for me because I like C.J. Stroud because he's from Ohio. Oh, so... but C.J. Stroud showed the hell out. He set a record game. He threw yeah, for like four or five hundred yards. Four hundred seventy yards. Good yeah. gravy. He he showed yeah, out. He it came back at the end of the game where I mean it was like in the last seconds of the game through a touchdown. He he showed out. That's they they've got they found their quarterback. Yeah. That's and, good. Yeah. And that's why I kind of feel bad. The other uh quarterback who came out in his class, young. Mm-hmm. Um who went to the Panthers, and I feel bad for him because they suck as a team, right, and right. that he's got, you know, that he's got drafted into this situation, and he's stuck where, as you know, C.J. Stroud is over here in Houston tearing it up. Oh, no, right. <laughs> so, 
Um, but yeah, so we can move on to my Baltimore Ravens. Do we really have to? Let's skip that game and go to any other game. <laughs> No, ma'am, because they balled out. Of course you did. Balled out against another. First it was the Lions. Now it's the Seahawks. These are leading teams in their divisions. Whooped Mm -hmm. up on both of them. They whooped up on them. They did the Seahawks back. Girl, girl, I was expecting a much more competitive game. I really was. Because the Seahawks had won like their last three. Mm-hmm. Girl, they scored a field goal. That's it. That's the it. Whole game. No touchdowns, no nothing. They had one explosive play, like one 60 yard play to, um, what's the, the wide receiver? I forget his name, the big guy. Uh, <laughs> you know, if they're not on my team, I don't remember their names. Um, other than that, they, there was nothing. I want to say they had like 150 yards in the game passing. Yeah, less, less than that for uh, rushing. Right. Yeah, they Baltimore held them down. It's that defense. That defense was like, they got after them. And then yeah. um, I don't even know where this little boy came from, Mitchell. <laughs> they found this running back. He was undrafted. Brought him in, and he out the gate, a hundred something odd yards in the game. It was like, where did this little boy come from? <laughs> and he's like, he's not a, like a big guy, you know. He's not a typical running back. Almost like a Ray Rice type of build, where he's kind of short, stocky, and was just mm-hmm. running. And I, I was sitting there like, okay, and who is this? <laughs> This is like maybe the second time I've seen him, but he showed out mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. They're finally starting to put it together. So definitely my team is contending. They're contending. Mm-hmm. 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 So we can talk about your team. Let's, let's talk about your team. Pittsburgh and Tennessee. We got the dub. That's what matters. It was not... It was ugly. Uh, we we struggled in that game. It was ugly. But y'all won one. But we got the dub. That's what matters. And it That's wasn't with the, um who was the quarterback for for Titans? Because I know their uh Fitzgerald is it Fitzgerald. Their their uh primary quarterback is out. Yeah, Levis. Levis oh, okay. is the guy who was the who was the quarterback for this game. Derrick Henry. Gave that boy up. is a He's monster. He, he is really a monster did. for years. Oh my gosh. And you know, but we haven't played. They, they stopped putting the Titans on our schedule that last time because we whooped up on them in, in the uh, playoffs. And I told you that whole scenario with they were standing on the logo at, in, in the playoffs, like oh, in our stadium. Yeah. And then Coach yeah. Harbaugh said something to him and they started cussing him out. And it was like, Dude, that's our coach. Right. So we whooped them that game and they walked out, didn't shake hands, didn't do anything. So it's mm-hmm. like there's been we haven't played them since then. And I remember Derek Henry just being oh, just, dominant. He's he's amazing. He gave us a hard time. Oh my gosh, they couldn't do nothing with him. That's it. That's their offense. That's been their offense for yeah. a long time. And they lost uh, Green to the Eagles. And ever since then, he's been, he's been that kind of, that's their bell cow. You know, they hang a lot on him. And there was rumors that they were going to trade him. It's like, why would you trade him? You have nothing else. You have nothing else. Yeah. You have nothing. Um, but yeah, y'all won anyway. That's what matters. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so Green Bay beat the Rams. That was kind of interesting. Again, a lot of these plays, especially with Green Bay, I don't know a whole bunch of these folks. Um, this pretty it's a pretty young team. 
they're still trying to figure themselves out. The Rams are just lost. Um, there's room. Well, I don't know if it was a rumor or an actual report that um, Matthew Stafford would be back um, in a couple of weeks or right after their bye. I don't know when their bye week is, but they're talking about Matthew Stafford should be recovered and back on the field. So hopefully that'll give them a kick again. I don't think it's going to do anything for their season. Um, but no, not too late. yeah, but they may give other people fits. Now they're three and six and I can't off the top of my head, remember what division, let me look at the standings, see where there are in the standings. Um, because it may not be totally over for them. Just like that's how the Jets are trying to hold on until Aaron Rodgers, if he comes back. No, they're in the same division uh, as the 49ers and the Seahawks. Um, so, yeah. The only reason the Seahawks aren't number one right now is because we kind of whooped them. But anyway. Um, but um, the 49ers... I think they want to buy this week. Yeah, because I don't see them on the, hmm? I see them on the, on the list. Yeah, they want to buy. Um, yeah. It was the Jaguars, 49ers, Lions, and the Broncos would want to buy. Um, but yeah. Oh, that's talking about the Chiefs and the Dolphins. That game. <laughs> I actually was wow. up Sunday watching that because it came on early. They were in Germany this week. Right. Um, so I actually watch. It's hilarious. Can I say it's hilarious to watch these fans from other countries mm -hmm. <laughs> at these games because you mm -hmm. see them when they, you know, pan the, the crowd and and you see them trying to do stuff and be hype. And I mean, literally, everybody, everyone was on their feet mm -hmm. watching this game. And there was one man who the camera pans around. He's doing this, yeah. And the guy next to him was like, no. Is this? <laughs> <laughs> I got wow. so tickled. He said, "No, man, it's this. Yeah, this is what they do." <laughs> wow. But it was funny. Um. But yeah, that was a big game. The Dolphins. <sighs> I think this experience won that game because I mean the Dolphins are tough the Dolphins are fast and they, they are, are you know it's, so if you find a way to slow them down slow those receivers down that's when they kind of get exposed um, and that's basically what Kansas City did they said we have the blueprint yeah. we're going to slow you down um, right. and that's basically what happened um, they couldn't make any explosive runs and plays or what have you. And so, and then, you know, Tua is standing there with the ball trying to figure out, okay, where do I go with the ball? Right. Um, that last play, <laughs> that last play, though, I mean, that was a perfect example. They showed that they want to go one-on-one, uh, -on -one, turn back around and blitz, and he just took his eye off the ball. He saw them come and drop the ball. <laughs> like, oh, no. Oh no, they gonna hit me <laughs> and mm. lost the ball and then lost the game. But yeah, Washington played New England. I almost feel bad Ooh. for Belichick because they Why? are awful. I don't feel bad for them. Oh, they've been, they've been on top. For a long time, it's time for them to be at the bottom for a little bit. Awful. They are the worst team in the NFL. I don't think they have the worst record. But if you ask me, they look the worst. Arizona has the worst schedule. I mean, the worst record. Um, they're one and eight. And New England's like two and seven. But yeah, they just oh, can't. Right and then you see uh, the quarterback I heard. So it's like, Aura, Aura, New England. <laughs> I don't have anything for him. <sighs> I just can't. <sighs> I feel bad. I kind of do. Because you want to see them. These are still outside of 
Belichick, those guys that play on that team, they're giving, they're putting their bodies on the line every week. Yeah. Just hate it for them. But anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, Chicago lost to uh, New Orleans. Yeah, um, I saw that. Didn't watch much of it. I tend to not watch the Chicago games, and I know that Fields is not playing. Um, so really, I just kind of checked in on it, didn't really watch much of it. Um, Indianapolis beat uh, Carolina. Was it Carolina? Let me go back. I hate this thing so bad. Uh, you think yeah, I the Panthers, better... yeah. The Colts and the Panthers? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I wanted the, the Colts to lose, but the Panthers kind of suck. Yeah. They that boy has no weapons at all. You kind of feel They're bad for him. But... Well, hmm? one. They're one and seven too. Mm. Well, one and eight now. It just sucks. And I feel bad for him because he's a rookie quarterback and he has nothing. <laughs> nothing. No help. Nothing. Um, I think the last game was the Giants and Las Vegas. And Las Vegas showed up. No, it wasn't um. Uh, now I'm, I'm lost. Um, it wasn't New England's quarterback that got hurt. It was Giants quarterback Jones oh, okay. who got hurt. Um, because I heard someone talking about it on the radio too. Um, uh, but yeah, Las Vegas they got rid of that dead weight in that coach. They showed up, but it's like you knew that they had that talent. It was like, now we just need to see y'all put it into action. And that's just what they did. Mm-hmm. But we'll see if it continues. Again, that's an AFC team. I don't mind if they lose a couple more. Not that I think they're coming back. Right. I think, yeah, I think they're pretty much out they're of contention. Not, not necessarily. Especially in that division with the Chiefs and the uh, Chargers. Yeah. I don't think they're coming back. Probably not. But anyway. So who are your, because my, I was going through thinking about who, how do I rank my top five now? So I'm going to say number five, number five is the hardest because there are a couple of them that I want to put at number five, like the Jaguars are doing good. Miami's good, even though they got exposed a little bit. 49ers got exposed. They've lost, what, two games in a row? Mm-hmm. Um, but Dallas has also showed out this past game, so I kind of like them at five as well. Um, number four, I like the Lions because even though we kind of exposed them a little bit, they're still the Lions and they're still leading in their division, and they played well, they played great actually. Yeah, um, uh, so Lions number four, KC number three. Number two is Baltimore, and number one is Eagles. Really? Yeah. Definitely the Eagles. And, I, you know, um, Hurts, he's, he's been playing Hurt. <laughs> but the boy is tough. You, can't, you, can, you have yeah. to give him that. He's playing through a lot, and yeah. he's, he's been good. He's been consistent. Yeah. But, yeah, that's pretty much my ranking. Like I said, I, I struggle with that five um, because there are a couple teams, I think, that are still pretty good <clears throat> that could compete um, for that spot. Like I said, I'll probably lean t- towards Dallas because when I look at Dallas and the Jaguars, I think Dallas has a better defense. Dallas has a defense than most of them outside of maybe the 49ers. And I think 49ers kind of have their numbers. So you want to put the 49ers ahead of Dallas. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they've lost two. And one of those games was to the Browns. Was it the Browns or Bengals? Mm. It was one of them Ohio teams. I want to say it was the Browns. Um, it might have been the Bengals. But either way, they lost. It was the Bengals. 
Mm -hmm. so. But anyway, that's my update for the week. And then Colorado lost again. Good gravy. They need an O-line so bad. I get to the yeah, point. They, I can't I mean, they just don't have the they don't have the talent to compete with the big boys. They just don't. And I think they'll get there next year. They just and it's just they need to protect the quarterback. Sure. I know, I know, um <laughs> I know Dion is tired of seeing his son get hit and <laughs> get banged around because they just can't protect that boy to save their lives. Mm -hmm. And he yep. said as much. And I heard that he fired one of his coaches that mm -hmm. um, they suspected was sabotaging their offense. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's true. I just heard like r rumors, people talking about it. So if that's the case, maybe things will start to get a little bit better. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But you still, those guys still have to go out there and perform. They have to play the game. Right. And right now, they just cannot protect Shadur. Poor baby. And he only going to run for so much. Right. So. Well, my Buckeyes won. They beat Rutgers. They didn't beat them bad enough. I wanted them as I wanted them to, but. Mm -hmm. They got the dove, so that's what matters at this point. Yeah. No, oh, well. So let's see what's going on for next week. What it is. Ah, uh, so what's the schedule? Thursday night football is the Panthers and the Bears. I don't know how interesting that game's going to be. <laughs> but I will watch it. I'll watch it. You got the Colts and the Patriots. I'm taking the Colts on that one. <laughs> Y'all play the Browns. Oh boy. Another whooping. Come on. Come on with it. You know the Browns play y'all hard. And we play them hard. Mm -hmm. That's this. That's a division game. Come we'll on, we see. know what we know. What's at stake? The Steelers play the Packers. Ooh, the Texans play the Bengals. Huh? The Texans play the Bengals. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. I was gonna say that should be a good game. Mm hmm. Especially with them ascending like they are. Yeah. The 49ers and the Jaguars. 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 Yeah. You know. Jaguars. Jaguars. The Saints and the Vikings. Yeah. The Titans and the Bucks. Come on, Bucks. Come on, Maker. <laughs> oh, the Make Lions and the Chargers. That would be a good game. Go Lions. And then the Falcons and the Cardinals. We all know who's going to win that game. Yeah. Falcons at this point. Well, the Cowboys and the Cardinals. play the Giants. We already know who's going to win that game. Yeah. Yes, and them. the Commanders play the Seahawks. Oh, the Seahawks, is, they, they, after last week, they are, man, I feel bad for the Commanders. <laughs> they, they got something to prove. Right. <laughs> they got something to prove. Right. <laughs> The Jets play the Raiders Sunday night, and then the Broncos play the Bills for Monday night football. Mm. What's crazy is we play, what time is our game? Hold on. So we play Sunday at 12, and then week 11, which is, is week 11 Thanksgiving week? No, week 11. Oh. Week, that's the week before thing. The week before. So we play Sunday, then we play Thursday. And let me check week 12, because my father was saying something about they have all of these games back to back. And I was like, huh? Hmm. 
So we play Sunday, then we play Thursday, then we play Sunday evening mm -hmm. for a Sunday night football. So they have a short week on 12, I mean 11. Yeah. Which I like, or, you know, but. Yeah, because you get to watch them more often. Yeah, and then they have their buy on 13. But you know what? I can say that's why I love my coach. I love my coach. I love my coach. His decision to not have their buy after their England game, because they have a choice. Most teams choose to have oh, a buy. Yeah. You tell me about that. They came back, kept rolling, kept playing. And so they're going to have their buy at the later end of the season, which I like better anyway. I like it when they have a later buy just because they have a chance to rest before that final push into getting to the postseason. But um, just the way he set up the, se the setup for the schedule is just perfect because now this game, this past game, and the next two games are at home. Then we have one away game. Then we have another game at home. So the, the last four out of the five games we have at home. Mm -hmm. Which is awesome. Sounds like a winner. I do believe so. Until y'all meet the Steelers. <laughs> right. Oh, no, that ain't happening again. Because <laughs> they gave them that game. I was like, what are y'all doing? They literally gave them that game. Because the Steelers didn't win it. The Ravens lost it. Mm, we got the dub, so we we won it. Lost. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Because <laughs> technically we should be, what, 9-0? and 0? They gave a game to the Colts, which literally, it was literally like, what are y'all doing? And then they gave a game to y'all. We should be 9-0. Uh, Best defense in the league. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. We shall see. We shall. Well, that's it for NFL week, week nine. <laughs> that's the wrap up. <sighs> Moving right along. What is that? I can barely see it. It's going in and out. Oh, I see. So socks? Yep. With Lamar. La Marvelous. Whatever. <laughs> uh, but anyway. <laughs> uh -huh. Enough of the silliness. I'm ready to go. <laughs> All, All right. right. Auntie babies, we are done. We are out of here. Until next time, Auntie loves you. But I ain't your mama. Did call you call your mama. your mama? Call your mama this week. You, did you? I don't think you called her. Call oh, your mama. Her call. You know what you're supposed to do. Bye. We love you. Bye-bye.